Here's a tip, don't do faces before you stop filming because apparently that makes me teary-eyed. And just the one eye, very annoying. Um, hi, hey, hello. Welcome to my April, April wrap up. Blah, 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 blah. My April wrap up. Um, I have my little sticky note of the books I read, um, which I do believe is the most books I've read in a month this year. Oh, these watery eyes. Uh, and especially coming after March, where I read like two books and a novella. Was that it? Anyway, um, you know what? Let's just kind of get into it, shall we? So, the books I read, how many did I read? I don't know. <laughs> So many, so many. So there was a lot of like finishing series in this month and also so many classics. Like what? what, what happened there? What happened there? Honestly, this eye is gonna do my head in. Oh. Okay, let's, let's get into the classics. So first one, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Such a long book for what it actually is. Uh, but it is the orphan boy of London. <laughs> I keep forgetting where he is. Why? I don't know. But basically it's the, the, the life and times. <laughs> of, is it Victorian? Is it Victorian London? Oh no, I've confused myself about Anyway, I read Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Such a long book. Um, I could have halved it and be done with it. Also, watch my video for one of the character names. The master one. <laughs> Honestly, why? <laughs> the next book was a reread, um, but one I do actually thoroughly like, even though I have many issues with it. I have ma many issues with a lot of books, I'm not gonna lie, but the the book I am talking about is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um, so I, do, I don't actually remember when I actually first read it. I want to say it was like 29? 29? 29? <laughs> what? 2009. <laughs> um, 29 apparently. Um, I think it was about there, that time ish. Um, so it had been a good while since I read it, but picking it up again, I do kind of want to read it in a different edition at some point because I'm not really fond of the edition I have. It's the old yellow paperback penguin ones. Um, and if you know, you know, but the fonts in those ones is like it's stamped double trouble time so it's like it's so messy to read but I do enjoy that book so maybe I will get another edition once in a while. Am I supposed to be talking about what the books are about? Meh it's my video who cares. Um, <laughs> the next three books are all by Jane Austen so it's Mansfield Park, Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. So as I said in that video, um, I had read Pride and Prejudice before um, in a different edition to the ones I have, which are the... I don't like the editions I have, but when I got them, it was like, well, here are all the Jane Austen books, except for Lazy, Lazy? Lady Susan, um, which I have found out later is actually available in those editions as well, so maybe I get those, but I don't like them. I don't, well, they're pretty enough. They have gold sprayed edges, but <sighs> Bible thin pages and so tiny and, oh, I, yeah, I do really like Pride and Prejudice though. I don't think I like Mansfield Park as much. I just think it was a very thick book. It was a very long book and I didn't really get anything from it. And then Sense and Sensibility, it's, oh, it's Willoughby. He's such a disgusting character. Oh, Willoughby. Anyway, um, Three classics, all in the romance kind of thing. Um, 
I do thoroughly enjoy Pride and Prejudice. There, there are issues with all of them, honestly, but yeah. Um, I did enjoy reading Pride and Prejudice again. Mm, the other ones, maybe not so much, especially not Mansfield Park. I, I didn't really like it. But out of Jane Austen's books, I think I like Persuasion the least. <laughs> I think that's actually, yeah, I think that's my least one and that is supposedly everyone's favourite. Um, yeah, but I didn't read that now and I was, when did I read it? A while ago. Anyway, moving on. So those were the classics. Then I did read um, Victoria Aveyard's uh, Round Breaker series. So I had read Round Breaker and Blade Breaker previously, which is book one and two. Um, I did reread them for the purpose of reading the third and final book because book one was such a long time ago having read that. Uh, well, like two years ago. A long time ago when you read a, a lot of books. And book two, I read it last year and it felt like it had been too big of a gap since book one from that point. So I was like, you know what, let's just reread them um, for the sake of the third book so I can like get the full thing. Um, so here's the thing, I do really want to like them, but they don't want to stick with me. They don't want to stick in my brain. I'm so fully immersed in the story as I'm reading them, but then they just vamoose. They don't want to stay with me. Um, so I don't know what it is, if it's me or if it's the way the book is written or what's, what's the deal. I don't know. I do really want to like them and I, I do like them, but also I don't love them because I I honestly can't remember what they were about. And I read them so many times now. Maybe sometime again in the future I'll read them again and we'll see. But for now, slight disappointment. Another series that I read book one so long ago and then didn't pick up the rest of the series. It's, um, what's the series called? The Mirror Wizard. Oh, <laughs> The Mirror Visitor. Jeez, me and talking. Hi, we have not met, have we? Um, so I read book one, A Winter's Promise, a long time ago. These are all by Christelle Dabot. Was that how you say your name? Anyway, <laughs> I read A Winter's Promise a long time ago. Forgot about the rest of the books, basically. So I read book number two, Missing The Missing of Claire de Lune, and then book number three, Memory of Babel, and then the last book number four, The Storm of Echoes. Yeah, I had, I had, to, I had to double check myself. So, these books, this whole series, I felt the first one really started strong. You don't get a lot of the, so, in, in the books, they are, the world is divided into arcs and the the way we start, the arc we start on, I didn't feel like we got enough of that arc. I would have liked to because uh, I feel like we would have gotten a lot more like backstory of our main character but also um, because it just goes into, <laughs> well the second arc, um, we, we you know, jumpstart the story, as it were, of the book. Um, so I do enjoy that. I do, I just I would have wanted a little more on the first one. Um, especially as I think we would have gotten more insight into the ability this character has, which is um, basically reading items, um, the history of items and such. Um, so, I really enjoyed the series, however, I do feel like it was a bit too long for what it was, and we could have done with just a duology or a trilogy, a uh, thick duology or a trilogy. Um, it's just that the story kind of, it, it takes you on a long way, don't get me wrong here, the bits we get along the way in the different books are kind of needed for for us to get the full picture as it were but 
some bits felt a bit too drawn out and we could have kind of skipped them or like summarized them in a in a teeny bit different way i suppose um but other than that thoroughly enjoyed it it's a different kind of story um from like all the rest of the books that i've read and are reading currently um so i really enjoyed that it was a different kind of uh fantasy in the uh, the, the abilities that the characters have i also did a bit of mood reading so my mood reading is mostly for um the books i've started previously i need to check my pizza my goodness that is a big furry car distracted anyway so my mood reading is well my mood reading videos <laughs> let's say um they are mostly for the books i started before 2023 um to get me to finish those books because i do want to read them it's just uh because i started them so long ago i'm kind of like i don't want to read that one i want to read the new shiny one <laughs> so uh, it's kind of a way for me to keep myself accountable and read the books i have <laughs> i have started anyway so i did I read two books, one of which I was one of those started before 2023 books, and <laughs> which was Guard Your Heart by Sue Divin. Now this is a very, um, I want to say it's a very political kind of book. So the two main characters that we have dual POV from, um, they come from like opposite kinds of backgrounds where basically... <laughs> um the two different vibes are against each other and the book the vibe well the the thing i want to take away from the book is that um basically you should choose your own way never mind where you come from what kind of background you have if it's like religion or politi political which in this case it's both um <laughs> so yeah um basically choose your own way and don't be too influenced about about um <laughs> don't be too influenced by you know your background your surroundings and all that thing um so i did enjoy it i i do wonder why i didn't like pick it up again sooner or why i didn't finish it when i first started it because it was such an easy read such an easy read and what do we have i have three books left yes so <laughs> one is a duology <laughs> That makes no sense so two of the books uh is the uh, the stolen air duology by hollyback so the stolen air and the prisoner's throne now these books when before they came out they were said to be at least the rumors said they were supposed to be like um what's his name again oak oak's story so oak is the little brother um of jude in the cruel prince series um well jude and her sisters and it's a whole family um <laughs> i wouldn't necessarily say it's oak's story because the first book is the pov of ren also a character we do meet in the cruel prince trilogy um mostly in the end so we don't get a lot of her so we get a lot of her from uh the stolen air uh about her in the stolen air that made more sense anyway and then we have oak's point of view in the prisoner's throne so although it's a duology and they have sort of the same plot as it were but um they're written vastly different from the other one uh so the first one we have this like mission we're going on uh we're going on quest um and the main quest is to like save or rescue oak's dad who's been imprisoned um 
because why not? He's not he's not a great dad, he's not a great person. Fay, fay at fairy. <laughs> but you know. Um but we're we're on our way to rescue Oak's dad, and along the way we pick up Ren, and it being from her point of view, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that cross between um it does make a lot of sense it being from her point of view though because we do get to know her and then we get to um we understand why things are the way it is in then book two and like her reasonings for what happens there and uh because we're seeing it from a different point of view as well confusion <laughs> I'm not sure which of them I liked more. I do kind of just mish them, mash them together because I read them not simultaneously, but one after the other. Uh, and I did that intentionally because I usually do try to do that. I did wait to read book one until book two had come out this year um, because I don't like the waiting and uh, yeah. <laughs> I do still read a book and then wait for the sequel for many years before I pick up the rest of them. So it makes no sense. Anyway, the last book, probably my favourite of the whole month and I did just a single video of why are nobody, why are people not screaming about this book because it's a terrific book. It's bloody amazing. I don't know where my accents go, but there we go. The book I'm talking about is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. What, what more can I say than what I said about it in that video? Basically, people need to read this book. People need to read this series. And I'm super excited to pick up the next ones. Uh, I do think I'm going to do like... Um, like a status update for the rest of the series uh, when... I, I get there. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, but this is a wrap up for just uh, April, so I just read the bone season. So here we go. Um, <laughs> basically, read the book. Read the book and then talk to me about it. And then talk, tell other people to read the book. Because bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. How many books did I read? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen books. That's kind of insane. That is kind of insane. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna end this video before the camera cuts me off because it doesn't like filming for very long, does it? No, it does not. No, it does not. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, definitely uh, all over the place kind of wrap up, but what else do you expect from me? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all the videos uh, for the different books and reading things, because all of these books are mentioned in a different video all together, so they will all be linked. And you know, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time, hopefully with a clearer head. Probably not, uh, but anyway, until then, take care, bye-bye.